Welcome everybody. We are going to learn how to use a normal graph in this video. And let's look at what a normal graph looks like. We use normal graphs to predict boiling points for substances at various pressures. Uh, as you know, as pressure changes, so does boiling point. Uh, boiling point uh, is called a normal boiling point if it's done at 760 torr. And I expect you to know by this stage of your careers, this being probably your third or, or higher chemistry class, that 760 torr can also be written as 760 millimeters mercury. Can also be written as one ATM, one atmosphere. The most important thing about using a normal graph is to realize that any chemical has only one normal boiling point. You will cross this curve only one time. So how do we do the question at hand here? We're told that we have a substance with this formula, C7H7ClS, and it has a boiling point of 103 degrees Celsius at three torr. Is this a normal boiling point? No, this is not 760 torr, so this is not a normal boiling point. You will not use this curve with the 103. You will use the abnormal or the observed boiling point curve for the 103. So your first job is to connect 103 degrees Celsius as an observed boiling point, which would be right here. There's 105, 103 is right below. Oh, I missed 103 is right there. It keeps lowering it for me. I'll get used to it. And three tor, which is not 0 0.03. It's not 0.3. It's three right there. So we need a nice straight line between those two points. 100 uh, to three, and I missed badly. It's my warm up. Give me a break. There we go. To three. That's all right. The nice thing about computers, you know, move things around. This needs to be a little higher. And this needs to go through three. Aha, that's nice. We can answer the first question now. Question A in red is normal boiling points 250, almost 260, I'd say 258. Don't forget units. Okay. Every line you draw from this point on must go through this point right here. This is the only normal boiling point for this molecule. So we're also supposed to figure out what is the boiling point at 60 millimeters mercury. Do not freak out. Uh, 60 millimeters mercury is the same as 60 tor. Millimeters mercury and tor are the same thing. So you're going to connect uh, 60 millimeters mercury. And we'll do this one in blue. 60 millimeters mercury right there. It has to go through the normal boiling point right there. I'll do my best. Straight line. And it looks like I missed by a little. That's OK. And I got to get my blue line without moving everything on my graph. Did I move my graph by mistake? I sure hope not. OK, moving everything over a little here. OK, 60 has to go through right there. I missed by a little. You're going to use a ruler on the test. Why are you not letting me move it? There we go. Uh, looks like we're between resolution points here. Not as accurate as it would be if I used a ruler. Uh, I think if I lower this one, I can raise both, maybe. 
Wow, computers are not always nice to me. Huh, there you go. There. Okay. I wish it was a little lower going through there, um, but I, I can't get the line where I want it. There, it's, yeah, it won't move. Hmm. Move the graph. A little cheating, yeah. And then it moves back. Okay, we're going to be close to the right answer. Ruler on a page is more accurate. I'm just pointing that out. You're not going to be using a starboard on your midterm or your final. So my best estimate with my starboard technology is the, the boiling point at 60 tor going through the normal boiling point, which is 258 uh, for that chemical is, let's see, this is 200, that's 190, that's 180, it's above 170, but, but less than 175, let's call it 173 B. Okay, that would be boiling point at 60 millimeters mercury. Everything has to go through this point here. All right, now I'm supposed to use the Aldridge catalog to determine the name and structure. Nice. So I need to find everything, the C7H7CLS. You've been doing this in class and at home. And I found everything uh, that was C787CLS on page 2812 of the 2009 catalog. And uh, let's see, I can rule out some candidates. This is this is a little faded here, it doesn't look so great, but that's not even a BP, that's MP. That's great news. That means this is not the right molecule, it doesn't have a BP. Dr. Whitaker will pick a molecule that has a BP that you can find. So we got it down to three. Once again, cross this one off. They don't give any BP or MP. All right. So is it this one with a boiling point of 120 when the pressure is 25 millimeters mercury? I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. 120 at 25. Let's go back. 120 at 25. Is that... 120 at 25 going to do it? Is it the same molecule? Let's figure it out. I don't think so. 25 is here. A little higher than that. And 120 is over there. I can tell right now. I don't think this is going to work. I'm connecting 25 to 120. If I use a straight line, it's a little better, 25 to one, wow, thanks. Yeah, technical issues. Starboard's my friend most of the time. Ten, green, 25. 120, not straight, but hey, I don't need a straight line. This is wrong. Uh, that's not 25, that's, try it again. Video's not going as smoothly as I hoped. 25, 120. I got it to 110. Not letting me grab stuff, there we go. 25. The point is, it doesn't go through this line. Green is wrong. The answer is no. Let's go for another one. It has, has to go through here to be the same chemical. That's all I'm saying. Uh, we tried this. Let's try uh, chloromethylphenyl sulfide. It says 66 at 0 0.2. 66 at 0.2. Let's get a new color going here. And 
that's a question mark, and so is this. Point two. Point two is here. Straight line. Pen. Point two to 66. 66 is down there. It didn't make it straight for me. Why is it being so harsh on me? Straight line. Pen. Oh, that's why. I switched from straight line pen to normal pen. Uh, point six. 66.2. Point two. Point two. 66 is down there somewhere. Oh, Lord. Almost tempted to redo this video. It keeps switching me to a different function. Straight line, purple, point twos here. No, I don't want that. Pretty close. I got to, let's see, how close did I get to 66? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm at 60, but I, I've already made up my mind. If I did a better job with a ruler and pencil, it would have gone right through where I needed it. I think you can see that. This is the right molecule. And it made that into an arrow. I have no idea why. Oh, because it's looking for a regular object. Okay. So what we have is the right molecule. Green is garbage. Doesn't belong on this page. I see green on the, when I'm grading these exams all the time because students don't remember that everything has to go through the normal boiling point and they think a molecule can have multiple bo mo normal boiling points. That universe does not exist. Purple's the right molecule. Purple was here. It was this one. Okay. Uh, this one's the boiling point, the normal, but how do I know this is a normal boiling point here? How do you know? It's listed as a BP without a pressure that's not normal. So that's normal. So it's understood to be a normal boiling point unless they give an abnormal pressure. All right. So this one's just wrong. Sort of red X through it. We found our molecule. We have to draw uh, the structure and give its name. Chloral, methyl, phenyl, sulfide. Go back and do that. Chloral, methyl, phenyl, sulfide. This is uh, C. Could be in purple. Chloral, methyl. And I forgot its name already. I believe it was phenyl sulfide. Chloral, methyl, phenyl, sulfide. Three words. Copying. And you say, oh, he needs the structure. They didn't give us the structure. Yes, they did. They told you its structure is a phenyl group. Yes, you have to know the short, short form for a phenyl is C6H5. Sulfur CH2 chloro. And here we go. When you're asked for a structure, please avoid giving phenyl. Show me you know what phenyl looks like. And at phenyl goes to CH2. Uh, no, phenyl went to sulfur. I carried away there. I'll verify this when I'm done. Wow. CH2Cl. Verify phenyl S CH2Cl. Phenyl, phenyl S CH2Cl. We are officially done this. I'm sorry it wasn't as smooth as I wanted, but I really hope you got the point that everything has to go through here. I would would have preferred that everything was where it belonged on there, but you know, my machine wouldn't let me put it exactly where I wanted. So we uh, we did a pretty good job. And that concludes this video, and I hope you found it helpful. We'll see you around.